Hello, beautiful people, and welcome to your reading. I'm Clarity Bay. I'm a psychic medium, and I'm dedicated to answering the questions that are most important to you. And in this reading, I'm going to tell you what awakening path that you are currently on. What recognition, realization are you coming into? The awareness of something, what is taking place for you? Please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button and hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video message. Also, if you'd like to further support the channel, please click that super thanks button. It is that heart-shaped icon just below the video. Let's get straight into your reading. Take one moment to meditate on the three piles. Pick the one that calmly draws you the most. This would be one, two, and three. And let's get straight into your reading. Hello, beautiful group one, and welcome to your reading. What awakening path are you currently on? What are you recognizing now and coming into the realization of something that you are becoming even more aware of? Could it be a renewal of interest, you know, a relationship, or even your dreams and goals? Whatever spirit gives to me, I will give to you and not leave anything out. Let's get straight into your reading. Group one, I can clearly see here that you're naturally attracted and drawn here to the care for yourself card. And the care for yourself energy lets me know and tells me that for you, there is nothing more selfless than taking care of yourself. And the question is this for you, group one. Do you sacrifice your own needs in favor of others? Is your need to be of service fueled by your guilt of not being enough? See, you're coming to the realization that you cannot serve others if you don't serve yourself. You have nothing to give when you're depleted and drained. And you have nothing to share when you are starved. So today, turn the spotlight of your attention on your own needs first. Spirit is saying here to provide care for yourself and replenish your own reserves. You are most powerful when you tend to your own needs, to your own garden. And with this radical act of self-love, release the resentment you have been harboring towards the, those who you have served. Let it go. Because this is when you realize that those you serve are already whole and that even your service of them serves you first. Let's pour more energy but a beautiful insight for you here. Thank you, Spirit, for allowing me to give this message divinely to group one. Let's pour more cards. Thank you, Spirit. What is group one awakening? What path, Spirit? What journey? And you have here the Seven of Swords. Very interesting energy to have here the Four of Pentacles. I see a very strong correlation and confirmation with the care for yourself energy that Spirit just gave us. The Seven of Swords cards, this card here, 
clearly tells me that you are emotionally and spiritually, physically trying to run away from a betrayal, a dishonest um, relationship dynamic here. Some of you feel as if your time has been stolen, that there has been a theft of your personal space, your time, and your energy. And for some of you, something physically has been stolen from you as well. An assassination of your character, perhaps by someone else. And you're coming to the realization of this, that these people are very dishonest and you don't, you don't deserve this. You're understanding more about people's character traits and people's um, personalities that do not connect with your own. The Four of Pentacles energy here, this clearly tells me that you are coming to the awakening and the realization that some people in your circle or that have been a part of your life were very greedy, very greedy. Um, and they had a desire for you to serve them long term, to be their rescuer, to be their emotional um, guiding post, or to be their arm stool, someone to lean on. And I love the confirmation that Spirit gives us here with the Four of Pentacles card and the Care for Yourself card. Thank you, Spirit. Let's pull more energy. Spirit, what is group one coming to the realization of the awakening spirit? And you have here resistance. Very nice energy. Let's pull more cards. This is telling a very intriguing story about how you are coming into this awareness of relationship dynamics and how you are recognizing who's for you and who is not for you and you're able to step away from this so that your life is fulfilled with prosperity, abundance. You are living your life the way that you want to live it. And I can definitely see you're moving away from this energy very fast here as represented here in the Seven of Swords card. And you have here the Princess of Wands. Yes, see here with the Princess of Wands energy, this is representing your creativity energy. Okay, and it's representing how you, you're very, you're very tired. You know, you're resistant now to being taken advantage of, to being the scapegoat. You have been blamed previously for things that weren't your fault, blamed for things that you have not done. And that is recognized here with the resistance card, the Gang Gang Sarah card. You're resistant to this energy and to these people, and you're not accepting the fact that you have to take care of them because these people, again, like Spirit mentioned at the first part of your reading, that these people are already whole. They are just not aware of their power, their greatness, and what they have, but they're okay, and you're not here to provide for anyone but yourself here. And the Princess of Wands card, it rec represents your very strong, fiery side and your creative nature. And so you're coming into the realization that, yes, you are very gifted. You're very talented. You're recognizing the areas of talent that you should be nurturing. The creativity you should be nurturing the gifts that source energy have have given you you you're coming to the awareness that wow you are truly talented here you are really gifted but because you were giving so much to others you did not see that you were seeing their greatness but you didn't see the greatness within yourself let's pull more energy spirit spirit 
what is group one coming to the re realization of the awakening spirit? You have the Messiah card, and this is very intriguing because the Messiah card is about serving humanity with humility. And you have been a servant for others, but you were not humbled by that energy because the energy was not reciprocated. So you've given, given, given so much, trying to encourage others to start businesses, to you know believe in themselves and that they can do it. And yes, that is what you should be doing. But if you are giving this sort of effort all the time, then it does deplete you, especially if the people that you are, you know, serving does not recognize this within themselves, then it becomes very draining for you. Thank you, spirit. Let's give more energy, pull more energy and give more energy. I like that. Thank you, spirit. Because when we give energy in the proper places, the, we are fully restored. We never run out and we don't feel tired. We feel inspired. So that's how you know that you are going in the right direction, whether it is with your career, a relationship, um, spirituality. If you feel fulfilled, encouraged, inspired, then stay there. You're going in the right direction. So let's pour more energy. Thank you, Spirit. You have here the Two of Wands. So with the Two of Wands energy, I can clearly see here that you are awake, awakening to the fact that you are a great influence on others. You're a great influence and that you work really well within a partnership and that also when you plan things out, when you write them down or when you, um, you take time out to organize your mind before you make a decision, you are coming into the awakening that that is when things tend to flow a lot smoother for you here. Creativity energy here once again. Let's pour more energy. Thank you, Spirit. You have here the Page of Wands. So I can clearly see here that again, this is about your realization and communication, you know, with others, awakening to the fact that you do bring lots of good news to others. You want everyone to do well in life and you are a great communicator and you're learning where to offer information to, who you should offer information to, when and where. So you're learning how to direct your amazing communication skills here. And I can definitely see that you are the bearer of good news. You want to only speak good. You want to also address situations as calmly as you can and with a good nature and a good attitude here. Thank you, Spirit. Let's pour more energy. Spirit, what is group one? awakening to what path spirit are they on what journey spirit and you have here the hierophant this is a nice confirmation because the hierophant energy represents wisdom higher knowledge so spirit is definitely downloading more spiritual knowledge into you and you are taking this knowledge and you are becoming even more joyful because you are realizing that with the knowledge that 
not only you are finding out about how spirit works, but you're taking you're taking this knowledge and you are applying it to your life, and it is bringing you even more joy here. You're knowing exactly what it is that you want, and and becoming even more aware of the dreams that you need to go towards in order to feel even more fulfilled. The Hierophant energy tells me that you also love to share this information with others. Some of you are starting an online course or even a YouTube channel, and you're encouraged to go into that direction because this is a part of your gifts here. You have many gifts here. You're great at communicating with other people. You want other people to win as well. And so with the higher front energy, you're encouraged to, yes, work on that um, course, that digital course, that YouTube channel, a social media content where you are sharing information to those that appreciate it. And you're encouraged to pay attention to the people that appreciate what you have to give and the doubters, the haters, and the naysayers. Oh my goodness. Just ignore that because it's not serving you. And I can definitely see this is what you're doing here with the Seven of Swords energy. Again, you're going in the opposite direction of betrayal, of dishonest behavior, because you're honest. You're a very honest person. Let's pour more energy. Thank you, Spirit. Spirit, what is group one awakening to? What path, what journey, Spirit? you have here kindness yes you see the energy of kindness it is reminding you to be considerate and wise in your interactions with others and yourself and to find the root of love of your love through your connection to source energy Wow, and look how the kindness card <laughs> laid naturally next here to the Hierophant card where Spirit just gave us the information moments earlier that Spirit is downloading very good information into you. You're constantly being downloaded with knowledge, wisdom that you can utilize in your life to bring you even more prosperity, discerning knowledge, know, knowing which relationships serve you and which ones don't, and which relationships you serve as well. So you're not wasting your time too much. You're, you're, you're in and you're out if it's not the right um, connection when it comes to a relationship. So you're definitely becoming even more aware of, of kindness and how kindness raises the vibration of others and raise your vibration. But most of all, Spirit is giving me um, the knowledge here that you're being even more kind to yourself. And that is key here because the card that you were drawn to first is care for yourself. And that definitely represents being kind to yourself. First and foremost, speaking kind to yourself, thinking kind thoughts about yourself and your achievements, your goals, loving yourself. And that is how you share the energy and vibrate on the frequency and you are naturally kind to everyone that you encounter, even those that you may not stay around to hang out with or, you know, create with, you're still able to be kind to them and move forward. So group one, this does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. If it does, please leave a comment below because I do love reading your comments. They definitely warm my heart and make my day. 
Also, click that like and subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video message. If you'd like to further support the channel, please click that super thanks button. It is that heart-shaped icon just below the video. Group one, I am sending you lots of love and good energy. Hello, beautiful group two, and welcome to your reading. What awakening journey path are you on right now? What realization are you coming into? It's the awareness of something. Your relationships, your love life, or what are you finding out about other people? Everything that spirit gives to me, I will give to you and not leave anything out. Group two, please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button and hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video message. Let's get into your reading. Group two, I can see here that you are naturally drawn to the we are one energy. And with the we are one card, this clearly tells me that love is revealed when you dig beneath your differences and find that which connects us all. So you are on a journey and a path of awakening, of knowing that we are all connected here. So this is about a relationship, a relationship dynamics. Group two, do you look upon the world and see all the ways you don't belong? Have you been doing that? And do you struggle to connect, to feel loved and understood? Now, maybe you were drawn to this card here because this card reminds you that you feel unloved and misunderstood when you see yourself as different from others. You and your brothers are limbs of the same body, leaves on the same tree. A hand suffers when it's severed from the body. A leaf cannot live when it separates from its branch. And today, see, you're, you're on a journey here in awareness to, to dig deeper into your definition of self and to see every new encounter as an opportunity to find that which connects you to others and to take pleasure in dwelling on what makes you and I the same. This is when you really come to know, group two, that your soul is mine and my soul is yours and you and I are one and we are all connected. So you're on a journey. This is a part of your awakening to finding and knowing that we are connected. We are all a part of the same source energy. I could not be here channeling energy without you taking part and wanting to know and wanting and seeking the energy. Let's pull more cards. Thank you, spirit. And you have here the Eight of Swords. You also have the Six of Cups. I can clearly see here with the Eight of Swords energy that your awakening has so much to do with you creating like self-imposed restrictions upon yourself, but you're on an awakening to free yourself, 
to let yourself be free, to be more self-expressive here, to let go and just be yourself, express yourself, group two. With the Six of Cups energy, this energy here clearly tells me that there's so much innocence about you, the way that you see the world. There's so much innocence and, and you're naive here to the fact that you're so beautiful here. So you are not awakening to realizing how beautiful you truly are inside and out. Your innocent nature is, is so divinely lovely. And I love, because I love the correlation between the Six of Cups and the We Are One card, because the Six of Cups also represents reunion. So on your path here, you're awakening to the fact that we are all one and we are all connected. Very nice confirmation here from Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Let's pour more energy. Spirit, what is Group 2 awakening to, Spirit? The path Group 2 is on. Liberation. Queen Mother Nanny. And with the Queen Mother Nanny, Nanny energy here, representing liberation, growth, self-love, more growth and abundance in your life. You're on the path of more abundance here more growth, more self-love. Knowing that you are growing and it's okay for you to be where you are right now because you are growing. So every seed that is planted, it starts out as new and it has to grow and push itself through the soil to become this beautiful plant here. So you're growing here and there's lots of love as well. You're recognizing more love here. Thank you, Spirit. Let's pour more energy. What is group two awakening to Spirit? And you have the attraction. The energy of attraction amplifies the qualities that attract and support you on your journey towards inner balance and harmony. So you are finding out ways to balance your mind, body, and spirit because they must be, in balance, they must be balanced in order for you to feel whole. You can't have one without the other and you can't have your spirit you know um you, you, there's no way they're all one so i love this very strong confirmation here and so you're on a journey of attracting here even more love into your life better relationships loyalty from other people as well, because that loyalty is also coming from within yourself. So we attract what we are. That love of liberation is coming from within yourself. And again, when you love yourself, others love you automatically. So you're attracting more love here into your life. Let's pour more energy. Spirit, what is group two awakening to spirit, the journey, the path? What? Thank you, Spirit. And you have here the Seven of Cups. It's very interesting that the Six of Cups and the Seven of Cups come out. And the Seven of Cups come out right under the Six of Cups. The Seven of Cups energy is about you are awakening to, like, you know, commitment issues. This is the awareness about too many choices and commitment issues. And I love how the Seven of Cups comes out after the attraction card, where Spirit is saying that you are awakening up to like balance and more harmony in your life because you have felt more erratic and maybe just like a little off balance and being a bit out of control. So now you are balancing out your emotional state and, and because you are doing that you are letting go 
of, all, of feeling obligated to things, obligations to people, places. You're learning to let that go and to just live your life very freely here. Let's pour more energy. Thank you, Spirit. Spirit, what is group two? Awakening to Spirit, the path, the journey. Thank you, Spirit. You have here the Four of Cups. Look at all of the emotional energy, the water energy. Six of Cups, Seven of Cups, Four of Cups. The Four of Cups here, it represents how you have been yearning here and dealing with boredom as well. So dealing with a bit of delusion when it comes to, you know, yourself, seeing things not the way that they are. Seeing yourself separated from the whole of humanity when you are truly connected. It's a delusion when you think you're separated. Yes, you are unique. You are an individual. You have your own special talents and gifts, but we are all connected. So you don't have to feel alone. You are never alone. It's a delusion when you feel as if you're alone because source energy is always with you because source energy is what created you and it is inside of you. It's omnipresent. Everywhere you go, in the trees, in the water, in the air, inside of you, you're never alone. And because you had, and, and this, because you had felt alone, it caused you to yearn for things and it caused you to feel bored. And you don't have to feel bored because you're not alone. There's so much creativity um, around you. You're very talented, very gifted, and you must just tap into that. But you're on that path of discovering um your gifts even more. You know what they are, but you're leaning more into and having a more relaxed um, a vibe about that and accepting who you truly are, the greatness that is within you. You have here the Ten of Cups. I love all of the cup energy coming out. For you, this is a strong confirmation about your emotions here. You're very strong emotionally. And here specifically, you're under the awaken, awakening of even more prosperity, recognizing the prosperity that you have around you already. The ideas, you have prosperous ideas. Spirit is telling you to take those ideas and to bring them out. Spirit gave you those ideas for a reason. Don't listen to the haters, naysayers, or even doubters. You must listen to and tap into your own joy. So whatever you feel joyful about, that is what you ought to express because that is what will bring you contentment, more prosperity, even joy here. Thank you, Spirit. Let's pour more energy. Spirit, what is group two? Awakening to the path, the journey, Spirit. You have here the six of pentacles. I love the Six of Pentacles card coming out for you because the Six of Pentacles, this is physical energy, earth energy. It is about you giving and receiving the law of reciprocity. So you are awakening to how the universe really works. Like when you give something, you, give, you get it back. And specifically here, this is about generosity. So you are on a path of receiving the generous gifts that you have given out. A kind word, you've given out money. And so you are on the receiving end of this because you are a very generous soul. Thank you, Spirit. But you are recognizing and awakening to the law of reciprocity and how it works. Thank you, Spirit. Let's pour more energy. Spirit, what is group two, awakening to spirit, the path, the journey? You have here transformation. You see group two, transformation here showing up in your reading is a very strong confirmation of how you are changing. The energy of transformation that supports your ability to gracefully flow through times of transition, allowing the old to make room 
for the new. So you are on a journey on a path of releasing what is completed, what is done, and recognizing that it is so, so that the new things can come into your life. How beautiful it is for the transformation card to lie um, naturally next here to the Six of Pentacles card, giving and receiving. Thank you, Spirit. Let's pour more energy. Spirit, what is group two? Awakening to spirit. What is group two awakening to spirit? The path, the journey. What you have here artist. Yes, yeah, Spirit gave us the information moments earlier that you are an artist. You have gifts. You are, and you are coming into the realization that expressing yourself is where you feel good. It brings you joy. You're encouraged to practice your talents. That means to let it out. Go on social media. You're an artist, a hairstylist, a singer. All of it's art. You're encouraged to show it because expressing a dimension of life that is just beyond the five senses, you are inspiring others to see life symbolically. So some of you are even artists, painters, digital artists, sculptors, Whatever your art form is, you are on that path of awakening to that. And you are encouraged to express yourself fully. That is what's going to bring you lots of prosperity here, joy, contentment. You are leaving that area of delusion and boredom and yearning and attracting to you lots of love and liberation energy here. Group two, this does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. If it does, please leave a comment below because I do love reading your comments. They definitely warm my heart and make my day. Group two, I am sending you lots of love and good energy. Hello, beautiful group three, and welcome to your reading. What awakening, path, journey are you on right now? What recognition, realization, or coming into awareness of something about you, your dreams, your desires, a relationship? I will give you everything that spirit gives to me and not leave anything out. Let's get into your reading. Group three, I see here, you're naturally drawn to the surrender to your soul energy. Surrender is not a giving up of yourself. Surrender is a joining of your higher, greater, infinite self. It's about your inner being and your soul. Group three, do you fear losing yourself in the unknown? Do you need reassurance that you're on the right path before letting go of what's familiar and exploring that which you can't see? You see, this card here is a reminder that you cannot get to where you want to be without accepting where you are. How can you know the path if you deny where you stand? Today, know that your acceptance of this moment is not submission of your will. You're encouraged here by source energy to release your resistance today and stop fighting against the current of your life. And you're encouraged here to give up 
the need to control as you do hear the messages of your soul as gentle impulses of inspiration flickering within your heart. It is in this state of surrender that you connect with your greater infinite self and you become powerfully, powerfully whole. Let's pull more cards. Thank you, Spirit. Spirit, what is group three awakening to? What path, Spirit? What journey, Spirit? What path is group three currently awakening to? Listen, surrender with a very strong confirmation. So you are naturally drawn here to surrender your soul. And the very next card that came out of your deck is surrender. Oh my goodness, a very strong confirmation drawn right here in front of your eyes, group three. Thank you, spirit. So you're on a path of letting go and just expressing yourself, being sure that what you want is on the other side of your fear. Source has your back. The universe is conspiring in your favor, group three, and you're on awakening of knowing that, of trusting that, to trust in yourself, to believe in source energy. You are one with source. Let's pull more energy. Beautiful here. And you have here the Ace of Pentacles. And with the Ace of Pentacles energy, this energy clearly tells me that you are on an awakening and a journey of receiving a new job, a raise, even a promotion for some of you, but it's definitely a new income here. Thank you, Spirit. You're just encouraged to go, to go in that direction. You are already ready. You're prepared. No more self-doubt for you. You are awakening to your worth, to your value here. Thank you, Spirit. Let's pour more energy. Spirit, what is group three awakening to the path, the journey, spirit, duality? The frequency of duality, this supports your ability to gracefully flow with the everlasting movement among all opposites. So when you feel as if there is something that is opposite of you, you're able to just recognize it and accept it for what it is. Instead of trying to control it, let it go. You accept and you move gracefully in and out of these energy frequencies. Let's pour more energy. I'm getting also the message that there is someone, like a relationship dynamic that you have with someone where they don't have the same belief system as you, but you are awakening to the fact that that is okay. It's, it's beautiful that people believe different than you believe. Because no matter what, we still are connected. And you are understanding that. So that is wonderful. Let's pour more energy. And you have here resistance. I love how the surrender card is paired nicely here with the resistance card. And then here you have duality. So that is a very nice confirmation from spirit because surrender and resistance, that's duality. Surrender is the opposite of resistance. So spirit is letting you know that you are on the journey to understand that it is okay. And it's also okay for you to sometimes surrender to some things and be resistant to others. It is a part of nature. Thank you, spirit. A beautiful confirmation here in your reading. Let's pull more energy. Spirit, what is group three awakening to? You have here the nine of pentacles. And you have here the five of wands. 
So I can clearly see here with the Nine of Pentacles energy, this energy is about you are on a path of self-sufficiency here. A luxurious lifestyle. You definitely love luxury, you know, being pampered. And that is considered prosperity and abundant and is definitely in alignment with your true purpose here. Gaining even more self-sufficiency is in great correlation with the Ace of Pentacles card here. Thank you, Spirit, for this very beautiful confirmation for group three. With the five of wands energy, I can definitely clearly see here that there are, you're on an awakening of understanding who like your rivals are. And I don't like to say enemies, but it's people that you come across that kind of offer a challenge to you. And you're, you're awakening to these people and seeing who they are before you invest too much time into them as well. Thank you, Spirit. Let's pour more energy. Spirit, what is group three awakening to? What you have here, the chariot. Lots of success. And this is about your journey and your path. And the chariot card represents your journey. It represents also a very successful path. It also represents progress for you. And Spirit wants you to know that you have been doing very well with your progress here with the chariot energy. You are progressing very nicely because you are recognizing who you truly are what you resonate with. You are accepting that and you are accepting the who other people are as well. And so that's very beautiful. And you're on a journey of success. Thank you, Spirit. And you have here the Two of Wands. So with the Two of Wands energy, I can definitely clearly see here that you are a great influence to others. Some of you are social media influencers as well, and you are encouraged to continue to do that because you do influence a very large group of people, and it's going to grow. It's going to be even more successful than you can see right now. Yes. Let's pour more energy. Thank you, Spirit. Spirit, what awakening, journey, and path. It's group three on, Spirit. And you have here the Prince of Swords. You also have here the Six of Wands. So yes, lots of creative energy for you. Journey filled with even more knowledge represented here by the Prince of Swords. Lots of knowledge coming to you, lots of learning about yourself, about others, learning to let go of what you cannot control. You can only control yourself and you are awakening to that. Knowledge can't control others. The Six of Wands energy, this energy here, again, is about recognition. Thank you, Spirit. It's about good news as well. So you're on a path of receiving even more good news coming to you. And even being awarded and recognized for the work that you do, the work that you contribute, the benefit that you contribute to others' lives, you are on that path and on that journey of being recognized for that and awarded. Let's pour more energy. Thank you, Spirit. Spirit, what is group three awakening to? What path, what journey, Spirit? You have here gossip. Yes, so this is a very strong confirmation with Spirit giving us the information, the insight moments earlier 
about you being a social media influence. And the light attributes here in your nature is about you awakening, you know, you awaken consideration for the feelings of others. And, and you are being honored. And, and others actually trust you. They trust you. This is very nice. You are building a very strong fan base of people that value the information that you give here. So group of three, this does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. If it does, please leave a comment below because I do love reading your comments. They definitely warm my heart and make my day. Take one moment to also click that like and subscribe button and hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video message. If you'd like to further support the channel, please click that super thanks button. It is that heart-shaped icon just below the video. Group three, I am sending you lots of love and good energy.